52 inch Marshlands is an indoor outdoor ceiling fan that is perfectly suited for large rooms and covered patios. We'll provide you with step by step instructions on how to install the fan and the different features that are included. If you would like to skip ahead to a specific part of the installation, pause the video and use this menu for reference. Otherwise, continue watching for the complete installation guide. A UPC number is noted on top of your motor assembly. If you ever need to contact customer service, this number will allow representatives to identify your specific fan model. Write it down and save it before beginning the installation. If you feel that you do not have enough electrical wiring knowledge or experience, have your fan installed by a licensed electrician. Installation requires an installed ceiling outlet box that is UL listed and acceptable for fan support of up to 35 pounds. You will also need a Phillips screwdriver, a step ladder, a wire stripper, electrical tape, and about one hour to install the fan. With your equipment ready and your new ceiling fan unpacked, you can now begin the installation. This fan is supplied with a tri-mount feature that provides two ways of assembling and hanging the fan. Using a down rod, the fan can be installed on standard ceilings and ceilings with a maximum slope of 18 degrees. Using the flush mounting option, the fan can be installed on low ceilings. Once you have decided which ceiling installation you will use, skip ahead to the corresponding section. Before beginning the installation, ensure power is safely turned off at the breaker. To install the fan with a down rod, follow these seven steps. Prepare the canopy by first removing the canopy ring. Remove the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws from the canopy. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. Turn the canopy counterclockwise to remove the mounting bracket. Prepare the coupling by first removing the clevis pin and cotter pin. Then loosen the two collar set screws. On the hanger ball down rod assembly, take out the set screw on the hanger ball. Lower the ball off the down rod and remove the cross pin. Then remove the ground lead from the down rod. Assemble the fan by feeding the motor's wires through the down rod and threading it onto the motor's collar. Align the holes on the down rod with the holes on the collar, then insert the clevis pin. Secure it with the cotter pin. Tighten the two collar set screws. Slide the coupling cover, canopy ring, and canopy onto the down rod. Carefully reinstall the hanger ball and ground lead, being sure that the cross pin is in the correct position, the set screw is tightened, and the wires are not twisted. To attach the mounting bracket to the ceiling, loosen the two mounting screws from the ceiling box. Pass the supply wires through the center hole in the mounting bracket, then slide the bracket into place over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully use a ladder to lift the motor up towards the hanger bracket. Slide the hanger ball into the hanger bracket to hold the fan up. The tab on the mounting bracket will need to align with the groove in the hanger ball. Twist the motor until the ball falls into alignment. The motor will no longer be able to twist once it's aligned. Ensure power is safely turned off to begin making the electrical connections. Twist the ground wire from the hanger bracket and the hanger ball together, then wrap them around the ground wire from the ceiling box. Thread a wire nut over them and use electrical tape to keep the wires in place. Use the same process to connect the remaining wires. Connect the fan's white wire with the neutral white wire from the box. Connect the fan's blue wire and black wire together with the hot wire from the box.
After completing the connections, inspect the box and verify that there are no exposed wires. Then tuck the connections inside. Assemble the canopy by sliding it up to the ceiling. Align and twist the canopy over the two screws on the hanger bracket to hold it in place. Then insert the two removed screws. Tighten all four screws. Slide the canopy ring over the canopy, then press and twist over the tightened screws to lock the ring into place. The fan is now properly mounted using the downrod installation and the rest of the fan body is now ready to be installed. If you are ready to complete the rest of the installation, skip ahead to the section for attaching the fan blades using the menu for reference. If you would like to see the steps for installing the fan using the alternate flush mounting option, continue watching. Before beginning the installation, ensure power is safely turned off at the breaker. To install the fan using the alternate flush mount installation, follow these 7 steps. Prepare the canopy by first removing the canopy ring. Remove the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws from the canopy. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. Turn the canopy counterclockwise to remove the mounting bracket. Pull the bottom canopy cover off of the canopy. Prepare the motor by removing three of the six collar mounting screws to make a triangle pattern. Assemble the fan by placing the canopy ring on top of the motor with the slot openings on top and the fan motor wires going through the center. Align the mounting holes on the bottom of the canopy with the holes on top of the motor. Then tighten the three removed collar screws to secure the canopy to the motor. To attach the mounting bracket to the ceiling, loosen the two mounting screws from the ceiling outlet box. Pass the supply wires through the center hole in the mounting bracket. Then slide the bracket into place over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully use a ladder to lift the motor up towards the hanger bracket. Use one of the holes on the canopy to hang the fan from the hanger bracket's hook. This will allow you to complete the electrical connections without having to hold the fan up. Ensure power is safely turned off to begin making the electrical connections. Twist the ground wire from the hanger bracket together with the copper wire in the ceiling box. Thread a wire nut over them and use electrical tape to keep the wires in place. Use the same process to connect the remaining wires. Connect the fan's white wire with the neutral white wire from the box. Connect the fan's blue wire and black wire together with the hot wire from the box. After completing the connections, inspect the box and verify that there are no exposed wires. Then tuck the connections inside. Assemble the canopy by lifting the fan off of the hook and pushing it up towards the hanger bracket. Align and twist the canopy over the two screws on the hanger bracket to hold it in place. Then insert the two removed screws. Tighten all four screws. Slide the canopy ring over the canopy then press and twist over the tightened screws to lock the ring into place. The fan is now properly mounted using the flush mount installation and the rest of the fan body is ready to be installed. Continue watching to complete the rest of the installation. If you would like to see the steps for the standard downrod installation, skip to the appropriate section using the menu for reference. To attach the fan blades to the motor, follow these three steps. The fan motor assembly is shipped with rubber packing mounts to prevent movement during transportation. Use a screwdriver to remove all five packing mounts from underneath the motor assembly. Attach the blade arm by bringing it up to the motor. Align the tab on the blade arm with the slot on the motor. 
then use a screwdriver to tighten the pre-assembled blade arm screws to secure the blade arm to the motor. Repeat the process for the remaining blade arms. Attach the fan blade by bringing it up to a blade arm. This fan features quick install blades that do not require any tools. The blade screws are pre-installed onto the blade arm and should not be removed. To install the blade, place it over the blade holder. Align the key slot holes on the blade with the blade arm posts and press down firmly. Firmly slide the blade outward away from the blade arm to engage the spring locking mechanism. When properly engaged, the spring locking mechanism will safely hold the blade in place, even while the fan is being operated. Repeat the process for the remaining fan blades. The fan blade assemblies are now completely installed. This fan can be installed with an included LED light kit. An alternate switch housing cover is also included if you do not plan on using the light function. Skip ahead to the appropriate section using the menu for reference. To install the light kit, follow these three steps. To attach the LED light kit, begin by removing the three light kit mounting screws. Bring the light kit up to the fan. Connect the white wire plug from the light kit to the white wire plug from the switch housing. Then connect the black wire plug from the light kit to the blue wire plug from the switch housing. Carefully push the wires into the switch housing and lift the light kit up. Align the cutout slot on the light kit with the reverse switch. Then align the screw holes and tighten the three removed light kit screws. To mount the glass shade, bring it up to the LED light kit. Press the glass shade up against the light kit and turn it counterclockwise until snug. To install the pull chains and fobs, begin by inserting the chain from the switch housing through the guide hole on the light kit. With both chains inside the light kit guide holes, bring the fobs up to the fan and clip them to the pull chains. Power can now be restored at the breaker. The installation is complete and the fan is now ready to operate. If you would like to see the alternate steps for installing the switch housing cover for using the fan without lights, continue watching. If you are ready to learn how to operate the fan, skip ahead using the menu for reference. To install the fan without the light kit using the switch housing cover, follow these three steps. The switch housing cover is pre-assembled on the light kit. Remove the three mounting screws from the switch housing cover. Remove the nut inside the switch housing cover to release it from the light kit. Place the plastic plug from the parts bag into the hole in the switch housing cover. Carefully push the wires into the switch housing and lift the switch housing cover up. Align the cutout slot on the switch housing cover with the reverse switch. Then align the three screw holes and tighten the three removed mounting screws. To install the pull chain and fob, Bring it up to the fan and clip it onto the chain. Power can now be restored at the breaker. The installation is complete and the fan is now ready to operate. Continue watching to learn how to operate the fan. If you would like to see the steps for installing the LED light kit, skip ahead to the appropriate section using the menu for reference. The shorter chain manages the fan speed the first pull of the chain sets the fan to high speed. The second pull of the chain sets the fan to medium speed. The third pull of the chain sets the fan to low speed. And the fourth pull of the chain turns the fan off. The longer chain controls the LED light. This fan features a unique three-way setting option to control the light output to suit your needs. Each pull of the chain cycles through the brightness settings. The first pull of the chain turns the LED light on. The second pull of the chain dims the LED light to 60% brightness. The third pull of the chain dims the LED light to 20% brightness. The fourth pull of the chain turns the LED light off. 
Located on the switch housing is the reverse switch. Toggle the switch to change the direction of the fan rotation and put the fan into warm weather or cool weather mode. For warm weather, the fan will spin counterclockwise and push air downward to create a cooling effect. For cool weather, the fan will spin clockwise and cycle warm air off the ceiling. Note that the fan should be stopped before changing the direction of the blade rotation. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your Marshland ceiling fan. If you need any assistance or have questions regarding your ceiling fan, please call the customer service number in your owner's manual. Thank you for watching.